Bro, I, I'm gonna pray for you. I, I I hope I hope that you repent of your your sin. Is, See, your sin you is sound slander, self righteous, bro. fam. You just you bro, sound self righteous. You bro. not you and not I, what I, you I'm think a, you a, are. A, yep, this was bad. Some people know about this, some don't. A lot of people do, though. As a matter of fact, it's being put out there. More and more folks are asking about it. And so I want to go ahead and deal with this because I think it'd be a good idea for people who are not named Marcus Rogers or Preston Perry or even by extension his wife, Jackie Hill Perry, anyone else related. I think it'd be a good idea for other people to kind of see this. And I think this is a way that you should handle it. And this is the way that you should not handle it. The way that you should not handle it is the way that Marcus Rogers and Preston uh, Perry handled things on a couple days ago. I'm not sure the date. It was pretty bothersome. As a matter of fact, what happened was I saw a post. And so then I reached out to Marcus, not actually seeing the video, watched the video. I was like, wow, this was bad. This was bad. My wife said, well, how bad? I said, it was like, remember the conversation that Marcus Rogers had with Seiko Woods, that thing that got out of control? Yeah, it was that bad. It was something that was just not becoming of anyone that would call themselves a believer. If you're going to name the name of Christ, act like you name the name of Christ. Whether you are or not, who knows? Maybe, maybe you're not saved. Maybe maybe that's the issue. Maybe you're not saved. Or if you are and you want folks to know that, and you should want folks to know that because Jesus says, let your light so shine that people, non-believers, will see your good works and then glorify God. Now, before I go into the little video clips, I want to, I'll show you more what I'm talking about. I made a statement some time ago before, and I'll say it again. This is not re in, in reply or response to anyone else or to say a person is what I'm going to say, but this is a true statement that everyone should use, especially if you have some age on you. Never be the circus for a clown. Now, am I calling either one of these two clowns? No. Do they act, kind of act like it yesterday? To be honest, yeah. You know why? Because both of them are kind of backpedaling a little bit and saying, hey, it didn't look good. And it's fine if you understand, we all have done things, acted foolishly. It's okay if you want to talk about doctrine, but personal issues, those things should never be put in public. Now, I'm watching the video thinking, okay, this is some sort of doctrinal issue. I have no idea what's happening. But the thing is, I'm, when I'm watching it, I'm watching the replay on Marcus Rogers' channel. Uh, I didn't know where to go to it, so I'm just sitting there watching it there. And even the people in his chat, even those people, those who are fans of his and those who are fans of Preston, everyone, I shouldn't say everyone, but a, lot, a large portion of them were saying this is bad. Uh, this is not godly. This is, this is, you both are immature. You both are being children or you both are acting like clowns. So let me just play a little bit of this and we'll come back. This is just, this is just bad. And I'll tell you why this should have never been brought out in public. I, you're not being I, real, I real. real. You're not. All right, bro. You're okay, not. bro. Hey, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to do, I'm about to do an IG live, y'all. Just a, 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 like away from Marcus, bro. I, I'm gonna pray for you. I, I, I hope, I hope that you repent of your your sin. Is, See, your you sound slander, self righteous, bro. fam. You just, you bro, sound bro. self righteous. You bro. not, you and not I, what I, you I'm think a, I'm you do, are. I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna do a live. I'm gonna do a live. I'm gonna do a live explaining all the things that he won't let me say out of my mouth. I love you, bro, with the love of Christ. I thought we could have a respectful conversation, but. You wanted me to answer, bro. That that's you that's fake to talk. Either you're gonna talk real or not. I don't. So, so, that's so fake. So that's so fake religious so talk. Now, as you listen to both of these people, which one of them sounds the mature one? Which one of them sounds mature? Which one of them sounds like you know what? I can listen to what they have to say. I can go off what they have to say. I would venture to say, as far as this video is concerned, neither. Now, is there ever a time to go public and talk to someone? Sure, it's when it's talking about doctrine. Those sorts of things are things that can affect the body, but something personal. I had no idea what, what the conversation was about when I left. I had no idea what the conversation was about. That tells you a lot about the conversation. So was the same with a lot of other people's opinions about it. You really couldn't tell why, because you had this back and forth, this, this yammering. It was like, honestly, it was like two teenage boys going back and forth, trying to make a point. Both of them should have dismissed themselves from this, but that was never the, that never happened. Log, log back That's on my log, log, log on my live, log on my live, and then y'all can y'all can y'all can y'all can hear me explain, or you can just log off, bro. You can just log off. That's that's manipulation because you're gonna twist what I said. No, I'm not. That's not manipulation. You've been doing it the whole time. Okay, okay, bro. We can end the conversation. No, I'm fine with that. There's no right, you politicking. Now this this 
statement, we can end the conversation. I'm going to end the conversation. I'm going to end this live. That happened. That was <laughs> that was said several times. I'm listening to this while I was I was doing something in the kitchen. So I've got my got the, the, the phone on and I got one of the little ear pod deal, whatever you call those things in my ear. So I'm listening to it. And it's OK. Well, this is about to go off. But I see the little timeline. That's, well, there's a lot more to this. So maybe something's going to happen even more. Them saying, I'm going to log off. You can log off. It never happens. You know what it tells me? Well, these are two people who are uh, expressionists, meaning that I know Preston is kind of in what spoken word and poetry. I think music. I know Marcus does uh, music. And so people in, in, in those genres uh, like to express themselves. And sometimes the passion can come out. Sometimes the foolishness can come out. Sometimes both of them. Sometimes. And when you can't tell one from the other, then let's just call it foolishness. You want to express yourself. You want to vent. Let me just give you what the Bible says. The Bible says that that's a fool's move. A fool will do that. It says a fool always loses his temper, but a wise man holds it back. Matter of fact, and some other verses may say a fool wants to vent his emotions. If you want now, and it depends on the version, let's say the King James, New King James version. If you want to vent or express your feelings, the Bible calls you a fool, or at least you're being foolish. You want to express yourself, give a person a piece of your mind. You want to get back. That's a problem. Now, we're going to find out why they actually came on in a second. But the truth is what they're telling people is not why they came on. They both came on with uh, with false pretenses, meaning that this, I believe this is something to have to do with something that Marcus said or brought up. And he says, Preston says that Marcus, you tend not to, uh, you, 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 you throw a lot of scriptures out there, but you really aren't using the scriptures correctly. Well, there's some truth to that. I, I think I've, I've said that to Marcus himself. I don't have, it's not news break, news flash that I'm just saying this now. I agree with that, but, but Marcus has his passion. He has uh, a reason for doing so. Maybe right, maybe wrong. I don't know. But that was the, the whole reason for them coming together and to discuss those things. But that's not really why they actually came together. We're going to find that out in just, just a little bit. I'm not politicking. I'm not answering. I'm, all I'm you telling you, fam, it's easy for I'm you. To, it's you easy. It's e all. I'll, I'll leave after this. All I'm saying is, it's easy for you to have this energy with me. I'm controversial. I'm dangerous. You got Mike bro, Brock spitting in people. No, the difference is there's bro. The difference is there's people who bro, when you have a learn how to explain the learn how to explain the gospel, bro. Bro, when, when you, you go on me and Jackie's page, bro, bro, when you go on to me and Jackie's page. Now there, there's a lot of insulting going on, but let me just say this. I is and, and maybe it's, it's just my age. I don't know, but the bro, bro. Now my my eighteen year old says that. Um, I don't know if the other ones say that. They they may. I have I have no idea. Uh, I've got a thirty. What is she? Thirty one, thirty two. I don't know how old she is. Um, she gets to be a, you know a big a big expressionist or expressive. And when it's that way, when when it's me, nope. We're not having this conversation until you can just be quiet. So this, the the, the name calling, the and, and really, truth be told, just some of the, the cliche-ish talk or whatever, it's just not befitting of someone who names the name of Christ. You hear Jackie breaking down scripture. And guess what? People and, still and, and be probably. confusing the comments. People no, still no, be don't. confusing. You, no, I know don't. y'all delete no, comments. Don't. I know this you woman, this woman has 10 years, But let's this not act like y'all don't years create healthy, confusion. Unhealthy. Something that, that uh, Preston brought up, he said that uh, if you go to Jackie's page, I guess his page as well, it, their channel is mostly build, you know, building folks up. When you go to Marcus's page, uh, it's mostly about um, calling folks out in this net. Now, uh, I've been I've been blamed for that, but it's not true because if you go to the channel, the overwhelming majority of, of the, the videos here are about doctrine and building folks up, uh, edification. Now, is there a time to call folks out? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, it's a requirement. You're called to do so. You're called to defend, to refute, to rebuke to contend, to fight those words that are used for Christians in terms of defense of the word of God. But again, this is not about defending the word of God. This is about something else. Of healthy biblical context. So am I, am, I the only, am I the only one in the kingdom that, that people be confused? All right, bro. See? All right, bro. I'm, I'm going to explain, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain, bro. She has, she has 10 years of, of, of solid teaching. You have 10 years. But of are correcting. people confused both by your videos? Both, yes both or no? Your videos, so your, so your, videos, videos, are flaw, people, your videos are flawless. They don't create confusion. Bro, bro. <laughs> okay, bro. See, you being bro. fake, fam. You can't, you, you being fake. It's what easy videos? answer. What, why, what, why, what can't videos be, why, why you videos, can't be, why you can't be humble, bro? Why can't you be humble and be like, yes, sometimes when we put videos out, 
people are confused and they're arguing in the debate. Stop acting like you flawless. You what not. Videos, bro? You not, fam. Bro, what video? Bro, just video? type your wife's name in YouTube and you'll see people confused. I'm not about talking about, I'm talking about me. Said. You, you said me. What videos with me? Well, so you, you guys had something about you saying you're not going to a gay marriage or some kind, or I would go or I wouldn't go. Something to that effect. People made videos about that and it wasn't just me. So stop acting like every time you get online, bro, people, that, people in the that, comments that right now are confused bro. by stuff you said. All right, bro. So All right, bro. That's just, that's, I'm just saying, that's be real. Be that's real. Completely different. Now, something else that the market said that was completely out of pocket, out of line. I won't play it, but I think at least twice, maybe three times different occasions where he spoke about the way that that, that Jackie Hill Perry dresses. Now, I'm not, I don't follow them a whole lot. Uh, I haven't found, I don't know that she necessarily dresses. dresses. He says she dresses manly. Uh, honestly, those are fighting words, and I can see why a person, now, I don't know that he said that previously to Preston. I don't know. But to say it there, and when he said it, people in the chat were like, wow, you're wrong for that, Marcus. You are, that's, that's out of bounds, this and that. And it was. It was not something that you would say to a person because, again, hopefully that's not what you're there to talk about. You were there to talk about something else. And so obviously that, that's going to be offensive to to her husband. Now, do I think that she dresses manly? I don't think so. And I'm not a close follower, but from what I've seen, she seems to dress like a woman. Uh, does she wear a lot of relaxed clothing? Yeah, she wears she wears a ball cap and so forth. Uh, but but again, you know, and maybe I'm not the person to speak on this because maybe I'm just older, you know. The, but truth be told, my wife she'll she'll wear a baseball cap and but uh, now some of the loose fitting clothes and so forth my wife is about 20, 30 years, I guess 20 something years older than, uh, than the Perry's and, and Marcus same here. So we're going to dress a little bit differently. Uh, but yet yeah, that had, that, that added nothing to the conversation, but then Preston is saying, well, you don't know this, you don't know that. Um, and Marcus actually put up a clip where he says that he feels like he's being sunned and so forth. And maybe we should have moderated conversation, or whatever. But no, you should not have had this conversation at all. Why? Because what you were talking about needed, needed not to be on camera, moderated or otherwise. And making videos correcting Be people real, every fam, single time get a chance. Saying. Like you, self-proclaimed Christians, like you do, right? If if I have a desire to have sex outside of my marriage, that is still perversion. Like you're, all you're, perversion. You're talking wait, wait, no, wait, wait, no. Okay, you're putting me off again, bro. Oh, you're cutting me off again. All perversion is is operating outside its original intent. That's not what right? the Bible says. That's not what that, the that, Bible that, says. That's the little, Bible. That's and that was the point I wanted to show. That last point. Because the <laughs> Preston kept complaining, and he had a right to complain that Marcus did keep cutting him off. Now there were some times that Preston cut him off too, but for the most part, Marcus cut him off more. Um, there were some points that Marcus made as well in terms of, and maybe they neither one of them kind of articulated their point as well they, as they could about uh, uh, being delivered from certain desires and, and and things like that. The problem is the point is why they actually showed up. They weren't there because, I, again, I was confused. What is this about? For what? My wife said, well, what are they talking about? I said, honey, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea, but it's just this back and forth. So maybe they're, they'll get to it because I'm looking at this little, the little timeline deal at the bottom of the phone and there's more time left. So may, apparently they don't log off. And so maybe they'll, they'll eventually get to it. They never get to it. That was the problem. And so it's a bad look all the way around. If you want to get together and talk doctrine, fine. But even in then, if you're going to talk talk publicly about doctrine or things that affect the community, you have to do so in a respectable fashion. The one thing I can say is I haven't, I don't have folks that come on here or would I go somewhere else and then they become a, a shouting fest. Uh, I hate you. You hate me, but we love Jesus sort of deal. No, I'm not going to do that because again, I'll say it again. Never be the circus for a clown. And if the person that you're speaking to having this argument back and forth isn't the clown, rest assured you are or you both may be. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be a part of that. Uh, can I show some emotion? Yeah, I'm not going to do it publicly. I'm not going to go back and forth with a person publicly. And I'm not going to go online to defend uh, myself, my integrity, uh, to defend me, which is what Marcus was doing. And the same thing for Preston. He was doing the exact same thing, defending himself and defending his wife which was a problem. This is the reason why they were there um, to, I don't want to say it was a macho thing, but it's just defending their own interests. Okay, so man, um, for those who don't know, uh, you know, I had a conversation with a guy named Marcus Ross. 
uh, the other day, day before yesterday, and <clears throat> the conversation got out of and, um, and I just want to say, honestly, yesterday was probably one of the hardest days I've had as a Christian in a long time. Um, yeah, the reason why is because, one, you know. Now, this is him on, I think this is Instagram, just kind of reflecting back why this was so bad. And, and so he should. I'll give him this, that he's showing some contrition. But there's one big problem that I do have with what his big takeaway was or what his one regret was. You know, every man of God that I respect, every big brother in the faith that I respect, called me and rebuked me. Um, and I had to take it on the chin, you know, um, from my big brother CD, you know, uh, Fabian, who was on our podcast with his wife, you know, Melody Fabian, called me and, and did a whole Bible study with me about how to store your time wisely. and not to give, you know, attention to wrong people and, uh, which was, you know, it was humbling. Um, not only that, you know, um, my big brother, Eric Mason, I mean, he rebuked me while, while the live was going. I didn't see the text cause it was do not the service on. Um, and then the next day, you know, he called and was like, yo, you, you, you said a lot of good things, but you should have been on, on, on the call that long. So, you know, and then my pastor, Philip Mitchell, drove and pulled up on me and was like, man, you're honorable for trying to, you know, true defend your wife. Uh, but you shouldn't have stayed on the phone with him that long, Preston. Uh, yeah, yeah. But not only that, I think the hardest thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, he said that, I guess they were regret. They said, listen, it's honorable for you to defend your wife, but you shouldn't have stayed on there that long. No, no. Uh, it's not that you shouldn't have stayed on there that long. You should not have been on there in the first place. Why would you go there? Because clearly it seemed that his intention was, at least that's what it started off from the beginning to the end, was to defend himself and his wife. I have a, I have a rule. Don't defend yourself. I'm not saying don't ever defend yourself, but don't defend yourself. Let others do it. Because let's just say someone has said some things, made some statements about you or your wife. What are you going to do? You're going to go, you're gonna go publicly and make that person rec recant? Now, if you got their number, I think both these guys had had each other's number. If if you both have each other's number and you want to squash a personal issue, then both of you need to have your heads beat, beaten together because you don't do that. You don't do that. You've got a platform. You've got a name, a face, a, face, a voice. Uh, same with your wife. And you don't want to sully that by some argument back and forth about what someone thinks about you or your wife. There's a, good, there's a reason why I, I keep my family away because I think that I'll handle myself accordingly not to get in any kind of spat, but I don't want to even take that chance. I don't want to have that issue. Folks have said some things about my family, not knowing them. And I just, ah, whatever, go ahead and let them move on. But I'm not going to go out publicly in the event because I'm not going to let that person win. If I'm defending my wife, I'm not, you'll, you'll never, if I come out to defend my wife, you'll never be right because I'm defending my wife. And maybe I am wrong. Maybe she is wrong. But that's something that we can handle privately because if it's publicly, everyone's watching. I know everyone's watching. Uh, no one's going to watch me take a loss. Everyone's going to see me defend myself, defend my wife. And so I want folks to I want the reason why I'm doing it public is because I want the public to take away the fact or the notion that I want that I made my, myself clear and I made this person look bad. So, no, don't go on line publicly to defend your wife, especially if you got the person's number. Call them and, and, and squash it. Hey, listen, I didn't like what you said. But, and if the person doesn't recant or whatever, fine. By the way, there's a way to go about doing this. There is a way to go about doing it. If you got a, if your brother sins and the sin is towards you, well, what are we supposed to do? Go and show him his fault. Look at the word manu. There's the Greek word. It means what it says in English, privately. Now, because it's out to manu, it is in your privacy. It's between you. You want to keep this close to the vest. If he listens to you, you have won your brother. So this is something the Preston probably should have done to Marcus. Hey, I got an issue. Let's talk. Fine. If he does not listen, uh, you take one or two more with you so that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every fact may be confirmed. Now, 
don't take your best friend, your bosom buddy, because now you've got two against one. No, just find an impartial person, some person that either likes both of you or doesn't like either one of you or doesn't know you. Probably that way. Third, if he refuses to, to, to listen then or to them, not to you, it's not that he listens to you, but listens to, notice the word, to them. Because you didn't take someone that was your friend, your buddy, someone that was in your corner. You took a uh, an independent person. Uh, if he refuses to listen to them, then tell it to the church. And if he refuses to even listen to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. In other words, that's when he gets treated like an unbeliever, like it didn't belong to the family. Those steps weren't taken. This was just brought up publicly. And what do the people who may be weaker in the men or in the in the faith when they see this? Ah, look at them. Now, hopefully they look at both of you two as knuckleheads and, and think that this just shouldn't have happened. I hope that's the way, but some folks probably may have been, been affected by that. You got some folks that might need to listen to Preston from time to time, uh, or they think they might need to listen to Marcus. I don't know enough about, about, uh, about that. So it might be someone where I'm talking to somebody and, and the person that likes this guy uh, needs to hear what I got to say sometime, but it won't because we've trashed each other and vice versa. They, someone that I um, have in my camp or, or listens to me, they might need to listen to him, but they won't because I just trashed him publicly. If it's doctrinally, that's an issue. I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a problem with someone uh, dealing with someone's doctrine. Hey, what you said was completely absurd. That's fine because we're honoring, we're defending the text. That's what we're called to defend. Peter says, be ready to give a defense, not of yourself, but of the of the hope that's in you, the gospel, the text. Should you ever defend yourself? Sure, but not the way you guys just did it. At first, let someone else try to defend you first, and then eventually if the time um, makes itself available, then go ahead. But I wouldn't seek out an opportunity to defend yourself. No, I wouldn't do that. Was the conversation was had with Marcus was confusing to a lot of people. Um, very confusing. Again, I still don't know what it was about. I do now, but initially had no idea. And discouraging to a lot of people. It wasn't my intent, but it was. Um, but more than that, uh, you know, it was discouraging to my wife. You know, um, I wanted to do the live with, with Philip, uh, not Philip, I'm sorry, with uh, Marcus the other day. I didn't want to do this live today. Because, you know, uh, uh, it's embarrassing. I'm, I'm just being honest. It's embarrassing to try to protect your wife. Now, let me say this. He, it's in, Now, what if he's embarrassed by the way it comes across, well, then fine. Amen. But if it's embarrassing because you didn't get the point across, you didn't protect your wife, again, the wrong motive. The motive is defending the text. We don't see anyone in the Bible defending um, really their family. Now, you should. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But there's a way to go about doing it. These are things that should have been dealt with behind the scenes. If you're talking about, hey, he believes in eternal security, he doesn't. He believes in tongues, he doesn't. He believes in demons and this and that. Or he believes in, that's something different. You can have it publicly or you can speak publicly about what the person believes. But we don't assassinate the person's character or their motives. Now, he wasn't the only one that felt some regret. And possibly his regret wasn't the right type of of, of uh, regret, but so too did Marcus, as a matter of fact. Marcus puts out, now this was uh, before, this is what I saw initially, him reflecting on this online conversation, and he's speaking about feeling like someone is trying to sun him or so forth, but he says, uh, towards the bottom, he says, my desire for how I want these conversations to go, he said that wasn't, it. he was embarrassed for that, because it didn't go the way he wanted to go, he says, their goal isn't to have a conversation, it's to sun me or embarrass me. And that's not just going to happen. Hopefully these difficult conversations can happen in the kingdom with moderators and face to face in the future. Well, there's a problem. Now, let me just come back. I'll give Marcus credit. Marcus is one of the few that will have a public conversation with someone. But if the majority of your conversations are not cordial, he and I had a cordial conversation. Uh, now, maybe that's because it's more me and not him, because all the other conversations, at least that I'm seeing, against someone that, that differs strongly, they don't seem to go that way. And so Marcus, that's that's an issue that you've got to deal with. Why is that an issue that Marcus, you have to deal with? And by the way, I'm saying this to Marcus as well because I'm also sending this to him, but he's your pastor. The expectation is higher. 
And whether we think that you should or should not be a pastor, the fact that you are, well, then if you feel you are and you should be, well, then meet the qualifications. Because if you don't meet the qualifications, you shouldn't be a pastor. Amen. And it's not my word. It's his word. These are the qualifications. You must be above reproach. That means folks aren't claiming that you got some sort of sin or some sort of issue. That's a problem. Secondly, uh, the husband of one wife. Temperate. Now, some are going to say that, hey, he's been married multiple times, what have you. I do believe this past this pastor is speaking about uh, one woman at the time. But that's a hill that you have to overcome with some people. Uh, temperate. You didn't you haven't shown yourself to be temperate. There's there's many cases where you just haven't done so. Um, prudent, respectable. Well, yesterday is not an indication of you being respectable or press. Now, press is not a, not a pastor. So these are things that you've got to look at. And hey, you might say, am I, should I be in this position? Is the music or, or YouTube or whatever else more important to me than, than shepherding? But to be a shepherd, you've got to be respectable by everybody. No, no one's going to, that's not going to be the case with everybody, but that should be the overwhelming view of you. Hospitable, able to teach. Uh, neither one of you did a good job. I'm just being honest, did a good job of that yesterday. Not addicted to wine or pug or pugnacious. The word pugnacious is kind of a aggressive, um, almost and it says bully. I don't think so that about him. Gentle, not sure about that. Peaceable, didn't seem like it. Free from the love of money. He must be one who manages his own household well. And it goes on to say that you must have a good reputation amongst the outsiders. Didn't see that, Marcus. And so now, just going by this, you are missing qualifications. That's not even talking about Dr. Mark. I'm going to leave, leave that alone. And for anybody else, because again, the point of this is not about, it's not about uh, Marcus Rogers or, or Preston Perry. It's about the bigger thing, how we deal with these things. A pastor involved in this should not have that happen. You should not. Your, your concerns, your conversation should be about doctrine, no personal attacks, not you getting out of pocket, looking uncontrolled. No, that, that should never be the case. Let's go back to it. I want to I read something else that Marcus put up as well. So he's talking about the the him taking down the, the video down or whatever, and it doesn't just it just doesn't seem like there's any sort of con contrition there, Marcus, um, because he took the print the video down or took the video down the video of Preston down because I felt bad for him. You felt bad for him. He he clearly embarrassed himself, and the comments showed. Yeah, see, you you should left the video up then, Marcus. The video that that was up on Marcus's channel down. You should have just left it up. But no, you said you felt embarrassed for him. And then if you did, this post makes you seem like you want to embarrass him some more. You should have, you both should have felt embarrassed, not uh, for yourself, but you should have felt embarrassed for yourself. Uh, not for your wife, Preston, but for the body, but even more than that, for Christ, because that's who you represent. The Bible says, now, if it's, that, if it's possible, if at all possible, be at peace so far as it depends on you with all men. That includes each other. That, does that mean you can't tell each other the truth about themselves? You sure, you sure can. As a matter of fact, you should. But how you do it actually matters. Sometimes what you say, but also how and when you say it. Whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, this passage should govern every last one of us. Whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Not to the glory of yourself, not to the shame of someone else, but to the glory of God. Give no offense either to the Jews, to the Greek, or to the church, which happened yesterday. There was offense given and taken by the church, by the bodies, just as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of the many. There are folks watching so that they may be saved. That's the whole point. That did not happen yesterday. Yesterday was an embarrassing moment. It's not the end. Um, you guys could learn. Maybe you never learn. Maybe, 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 I don't know. Maybe you both. Who knows? I've said this before. I have no idea um, about Marcus's faith or walk in Christ. I said that to him. Don't know. I do it. Do I think he's passionate? Sure. So hopefully Marcus is genuinely passionate about the Lord and is making the steps. That's fine. Uh, same thing with Preston. Don't know you either. Uh, maybe you both are heathens. Maybe you both are knuckleheads. Maybe you both love the Lord and it's just uh, you didn't express that correctly yesterday. I have no idea. But for the body, if you find yourself in that situation, public beefs and name calling, things like that, that's not good. If it's about the Bible, if it's about the word of God, about the doctrine, we are called to expose. We're called to refute. We're called to rebuke. We're called to 
uh, reprove. We are called to contend. We are called to fight. These are the words that are used in terms of our own personality. No, these aren't used for us. These are used for defending the word of God. That's it. If you find yourself defending yourself, especially defending yourself with the word of God, shame on you. And I feel bad because soon thereafter, don't know how soon is soon, but eventually God will have his way with you if you don't repent. Don't do this. This looks bad. And if you have, if you make it a practice of making God look bad, let me leave you both with this and everyone else with this. If you make it a practice of making God look bad with his name on your heart, you're telling everyone you're a Christian. If you make it a point of making God look bad, I promise you soon he's going to make you look bad. Amen. Thank you.